bookish besties and welcome back to my channel. I am starting a weekly reading vlog today and this week I'm going to be challenging myself to read the number of pages that equals the number of phone pickups from that day last week. October was a killer month for me. I was ripping through books for my TBR. Huh. I was, huh? And I want to keep that momentum going in November, so I'm trying to start November off strong with a challenge. Originally, what I was going to do was read for the amount of time that I had screen time from that day last week. However, when I got into my screen time app, I quickly remembered that I took a couple sick days last week, and all that I had the energy for was scrolling and sleeping. So it would be impossible for me to work and read the number of hours that I spent scrolling on my phone a couple of days last week when I was sick. So I'm going to do phone pickups instead. And today is Sunday, so I'm starting off with my last Sunday's number of phone pickups was 68. So I have to read 68 pages today, which is totally doable. It's a little after 1.30 at this point, and all I have left to do on my list is go to the grocery store. I have a little bit of content editing left to do, and that's it. So I'm going to knock that out easily today. <clears throat> I am starting this week with Immortal Dark by Ty Just Germa. Um, I actually started this last night, but I was so tired, I only got about four pages in before I couldn't keep my eyes open. So I'll basically be starting this from page one today. Because <laughs> I don't actually remember a lot of what I read when I was dozing off. So I'm going to knock out the rest of my list first, and then I'm going to settle in to read and get my 68 pages done. I will update you with a final page count a little bit later on this evening. Hello, hello. I'm back with a check-in. It is Monday and I had 68 pages to read yesterday, which I did. I didn't have the energy to update once I finished reading because I finished reading and then immediately crashed and went to bed. Time change took it out of me a bit, so I was definitely ready for bed and didn't have the, the wherewithal to be forming any coherent thoughts <laughs> on camera. Um, so today is Monday. It's pretty late. It's been a long day. It's, um, a little after eight o'clock and I have 50, I have 51 pages to read tonight to stay on track. Um, I'm really liking this. It is the story of a girl who her whole family has died um, and her sister has gone missing so she's trying to hunt down her sister and figure out what happened to her but in this world vampires and humans have to kind of coexist so her hunt for her sister has brought her to this elite and kind of secret university where um, the coexistence of humans and vampires is studied but it turns out her family was actually pretty powerful and had a house um, at this university. So as the kind of last remaining heir, she can inherit this house, which also brings with it a lot of power. But she would have to live in that house with her family's companion vampire, who she is pretty certain is responsible for her sister's disappearance. So she has to move into the house after a certain amount of time if nobody from Kidan's family in, would inherit the house, then the house would pass on to Susenos, who is the companion vampire for our main character's family. Now she obviously doesn't want this to happen and it seems like the dean of the university doesn't really want this to happen either, so she is moving into the house and is continuing her search for her sister. However, she has to attend the university before she can fully inherit the house. So they have to like coexist in this house together while she's working on her studies and she has to pass. She only has one chance to pass. If she doesn't pass her classes, then 
she has to wait until the next semester and then too much time will have passed and that would then move the house into the hands of Susenos. So I am right about the part where she has just moved into the house and she has met Susenos and they are trying to kind of coexist but there is all of this stuff that's going on in the house that Kidan was not informed of before she agreed to move in. The house will kind of torment each individual with their mind's kind of worst fears and echo the insecurities and kind of replay each person's worst moment and that's part of what they have to conquer which she has just experienced for the first time so things are picking up um, it's it's dark um, and it's really beautifully written and I was struggling with some pronunciation so um, I did a Google search and I found a TikTok video that the author posted to her TikTok account um, pronouncing kind of like as a pronunciation guide so if you are somebody who's reading this book and you're not sure how to pronounce certain things and you're getting stuck on it if you find the author on TikTok her name is Tigest? Tigest? I had it. I had it and then I lost it. It's not Tigest, like most people say. Um, Tigest has posted a video with some of the common words and names from the book so that readers can get an idea of the proper pronunciation. So if that's something you're interested in, check it out. It was pretty easy to find. I think it's like her first pinned video on her page. Anyway, like I said, it's pretty late and I am tired. It's been a long day. I still have 51 pages that I need to read tonight. So I'm going to hit the shower and then I'm going to get in bed and try to knock these pages out without falling asleep. Wish me luck. I didn't make the cut last night. Full disclosure, I did not meet my page goal for yesterday. Um, I got to page 85 and that was that was all I had in me so I have some catching up to do I have about 40 pages to get caught up for what I missed last night <clears throat> so I only read about 10 pages yesterday and then I have 73 for today so I need to get locked in and knock this out it is election day so I am actively trying to avoid doom scrolling. So what better challenge to have than to knock out 115 pages on a school night? Um, <clears throat> I got the time to do it. It's almost seven. So I have, oops, so I have plenty of time to get this under control and get caught up. I've got a um, dark academia um, spooky ambiance YouTube video on uh, to set the mood. I've got candles going and my only challenge will be staying awake. So here we go. Let's buckle in.
Well, change of plans. Um, yeah, my reading challenge for this week did not pan out. <laughs> um, the week took a turn. So, rather than make myself feel guilty for not succeeding on the challenge or the goal that I set for myself, I'm going to switch gears. So, I'm still about halfway through Immortal Dark. Um, I'm also listening to The Final Gambit on audio, and I've started reading The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. So, I've got a three-day weekend. I've got some chores to do. I think I'm just gonna flip this into a weekend reading vlog. So currently, my task is to build my new desk. My current desk, I went with a minimalist look when I purchased my current desk and the lack of storage is not working out well for me. So I needed something with drawers, I needed something with more organization and more storage. So that's what I'm building today. I have about an hour left in the final gambit, so I'm gonna pop my earbuds in and listen to that while I am building. And if I finish that up, I also have Middle Tide on Libby, so I'll switch over to that if need be. So that's my plan. I'm going to put my desk together and then I'm going to swap it out for the old one, get it all set up and then I'll see where I'm at after that. I'm not sure, I can't estimate how long that's gonna take me. So we'll see. Play things by ear. So as you can see, lots of visual clutter that just, it doesn't work for me. I need to be able to hide this stuff in order to be able to focus. So next time you see this space, hopefully it's a little bit more organized. Okay, I'm back with an update. I did not finish getting my new desk set up yesterday. I got it put together, but it took like five hours. And I got it in place and I got my other furniture moved out, but things are still kind of in disarray. So today I need to finish getting everything put away and organized in their new places. Um, I did finish the final gambit and I listened to Middle Tide um, while I was putting the desk together. And that was a good one. The final Gambit was kind of dragging on for me. I think I'm a little bit sick of the series. I'm ready for it to be over, but I only have one book left, so part of me, I don't know if I should just power through or if I should take a break, but it feels like it's dragging. But Middle Tide I really liked. It was a mellow, it was a mellow thriller. It was a good one to do on audio. It was quick. Um, it was interesting and I didn't have to pay attention too closely while I was building furniture. So that's a win. Um, today I started listening to The Heiress by Rachel Hawkins. Um, and that one has got my attention as well. So... I have a couple things that I need to finish up today. I need to finish getting all the rest of my stuff put away. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my old desk. And then I have some computer work that I need to sit down and do today as well. Hopefully I have a chunk of time this afternoon where I can read because I would like to make a bigger dent in Immortal Dark than I have been able to over the last couple days. So that's the plan. Everything's still kind of messy. Um, and once everything's done, then I'll be back with another update. It's done. Okay, with the exception of that little pile of stuff that are keepsakes from my grandma's house that I need to file away in a safe space. And one little envelope that I have, or like a file folder kind of thing that I was using to keep track of all my important paperwork that now needs to go into the file drawer in the desk. It's done. And I'm so tired. I feel like I've been, well, I mean, I have been working on this for like two days straight, so. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna read for as long as I can 
until I fall asleep, which I don't think that's going to be very long, but it is also only like 7 p.m., so I might nod off and then wake up and read a little bit more and then nod off. We'll see. There she is. So much less cluttered. I can put everything away in the drawers. The wall seems really bare, but I have a couple like floating shelves that I can hang up and put some stuff there. But it looks so much cleaner. I think it's going to be a much more productive space for me. And that's really what I needed. So she's done. I think I might need a crash cart because my vision for this reading vlog is circling the drain. Um, <laughs> it has been days since I last updated, since I started to put together my desk, since I swore to myself that I was going to finish Immortal Dark over the weekend. It's now the following Thursday. It's been about a week and a half since I initially started this vlog with the first idea, the read the same number of pages in a day as your phone pickups from the week before. life is lifing. I am on the struggle bus and I still have just under a hundred and I still have just under a hundred and I still have about 120 pages left. I'm not ready to give up though. I thought, you know, first idea didn't pan out. I couldn't resuscitate my second idea. And so now this is just going to be a struggle bus read along. <laughs> because life. You know, that's life. Sometimes things don't work out. Sometimes we don't have the time or the capacity to do the things that we want to do, to do the things that we know nourish us, 
that we know will help us take care of ourselves. I've been very much in a doom scrolling state of mind lately and unfortunately haven't really been able to pull myself out of that scroll hole very easily. Until like right before bed and then by that point I'm exhausted. So I'm only reading about 10 to 15 pages and then I'm also nodding off through all of that. So then the next day I have to backtrack like five or 10 more pages because I dozed through all of those pages and I don't remember what happened. <laughs> so this has turned into, I guess, a real life reading vlog, a realistic reading vlog because that happens. That's the way life goes sometimes. Tonight, however, I am determined to read and get to bed at a decent hour and avoid screen time before bed. So it is about 8.30. After work today, I had a massage and then I got home about 6.30. So I've been home for two hours, had dinner, took a shower, and now I'm so comfy and cozy, I'm just gonna get in bed and I'm gonna read until I can't keep my eyes open anymore. I should be able to get a, a decent amount read um, before bed because I'm not feeling quite tired yet, just feeling like I wanna snuggle up. Anyway, it feels like this is really slow going, but it's not, the more that I think about it. I didn't have a chance to read much of any of it over the weekend. Um, I spent most of Saturday building that desk, listened to Middle Tide, um, and it took me about the entire audiobook to build that desk, which was like five and a half hours. And then um, a good chunk of the day Sunday, I had to kind of rearrange furniture, clear some clutter out, organize my stuff, get the desk set up, all of that fun stuff. And that took a good chunk of the day. Plus I had a couple other chores that I had to do. So um, I ended up listening to The Heiress on Sunday by Rachel Hawkins. And I loved that one. That one was great. So it feels like I haven't gotten much reading in, but that's not the case. That's not the case. It's just been audiobook heavy. Um, and so I had to pause on this one obviously, while I was audiobooking it up. And um, this week, during the work week, I um, haven't really been feeling the pull to pick up a book. So I just think my routine's a little out of whack. So I'm hoping it's just a, just a fluke and that next week I'll get back into the swing of things. That's my hope. But I think I can probably probably jinxing myself, but I think I can probably finish this. I'm not going to say I can finish it tonight. If I do, I will be very pleasantly surprised and I would like that very much, but you know, I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna set, <laughs> I'm not gonna set any expectations for the rest of this book. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to get in bed and I'm going to read and hope that by the end of tomorrow I will have finished it. And that this video is salvageable. <laughs> so many roads have traveled down, trying to find some peace of mind. And all this time, darkness and light, still refuse to give up the fight. But I know I'm not a baby.
I did it. I did it. I finally did it. I finished it. Um, this was a struggle, clearly. If you've made it this far, you understand that I have been struggling with this one. And it has really only been in the second half. And I think there were several different factors. First of all, I think there were several different factors. One of them being life just got really lifey in the last week or so. Um, and then the other being that I think it really fell flat after about the halfway point. The beginning was really intriguing and I was really invested for the first half and then it just didn't really seem to go anywhere further after that. Um, it seemed a little drawn out. Um, I would have liked to see a lot more development of the side characters and the friends and and that relationship. Um, I think I got pretty much throughout the entire story, you don't know who you can trust. And that became a little taxing, especially for such a long book. I mean, it's 416 pages and throughout all of that to be constantly kind of like on edge about whether or not these newfound friends are going to betray her. It just became kind of draining for me to read. There were things that I definitely liked, that I definitely appreciated. Um, first of all, it's a gorgeous book. The cover, the, the sprayed edges, the artwork throughout. I did become really invested in the main character and um, her journey, despite not really liking her. I was rooting for a bit more romance. I was rooting for a little bit more not even necessarily romance, just a, a deeper connection between Kiran and Sesenos. And so I liked kind of, I liked seeing some of the shifts that they made toward one another as the story progressed and they became more comfortable around one another. I'm still a little bit confused about some of the political details, some of the political structure the way some of the magic worked. There were a few times where things happened and I I couldn't understand how, how that action worked. So I think it just kind of seemed a little underdeveloped to me in that regard. Underdeveloped but also too long. I think it could have been shorter. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm, I'm aware that there were other circumstances outside of my own thoughts about the book that were impacting my feelings toward the book, so I'm trying not to be too harsh on it. Um, I, For some reason I did think it was a standalone, but I, when I was logging it in my Goodreads, I realized it's actually first of a trilogy, so I don't know. I'm undecided about whether or not I'll give the second one a try. I have a feeling I probably will when it comes out because I'm on the fence about whether or not I was in the right mood to read this book. You know, maybe I just, maybe it was the wrong book for me to pick up at this time, which totally get. That happens sometimes. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt in that regard and probably try the second one when it does come out but I'm just really glad to be done with it. I think the heaviness of the storyline was uh, poorly timed for what's going on around me right now. Probably should have been reading something a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit more cozy, a little bit more fun, um, which is why I'm very excited to be able to dive back into the very secret society of irregular witches. So I'm going to wrap this video up here, um, put all of us out of our misery here, <laughs> and if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, thanks for sticking around. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts on this book if you read it. Um, how did you feel? Did you like it? Uh, what did you like about it? Um, share them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give me a like and a subscribe. 
and I will see you in the next one. Until then, happy reading, friends!